What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have some brand new WWE action figure fix-ups. You guys know that once we get WWE action figure reveals, I mean, AEW is a little bit different, I guess, because the fix-ups are not the same. You know, they're not the same way of doing things as far as surgery is concerned. It's kind of a different way. We're still approaching that, trying to figure that out completely. But with WWE action figures, man, anytime we get brand new reveals, we always come back and we get in the lab immediately, man. We start cooking up ideas and ideas for fix-ups and swipages and swappages and customs and all these different things. So no different than yesterday, man. If you guys missed our video from yesterday, definitely go check it out. We had brand new WWE action figure news and reveals and all sorts of awesome figures coming soon. So typically when we get those, I usually run it back and show you guys some fix-ups that you may want to do once we get these figures in hand. Maybe some things you didn't think about or maybe give you a reason why you may want to grab these figures to do some swaps and fix-ups with your other figures that you already own in your collection. So with that being said, man, let's go ahead and dive in and get into all the things I have in my brain for this. So let's start off with the Ultimate Editions, man. Let's start off with the Alexa Bliss Ultimate Edition. Now, I think it'll be easier to make Alexa Bliss swappages once I know exactly what we're getting with this figure because I don't know, right? I know we get the two head sculpts. I know what the base body looks like, but I do not know what kind of cloth accessories we're getting. I don't know the details on the overall slash dress. I don't know the, the details on the t-shirts. I don't know all those different things. So once I know those things, it'll give me a better idea on what other swaps I may be able to do. But these are the ones that popped in my head, right? So my first one I thought of was take the Elite 82 Alexa Bliss head sculpt and put it onto the Ultimate Edition. Also take those Ultimate Edition head sculpts and put that on the Elite 82. Not only that, you could take the uh, the, the Ultimate Edition head sculpts and put them onto the Survivor Series Elite or take this, the pissed off Survivor Series Elite with the hair down and put that on the Ultimate Edition. It may look a bit weird to have the hair down with the dress on there, but I think it's at least worth a look. You know, if you're trying to play around with stuff, trying to give different figures different looks in your collection, this may be something you want to experiment with just to take a look at. But I think the Elite 82 head swap would be really, really sweet. And I think, you know, just taking your Alexa Bliss Elite and switching them with that Ultimate Edition, kind of playing around with that and just seeing what looks the best and kind of, you know, just seeing what works, you know, throwing shish at the wall, seeing what sticks is what we like to say on the channel. Another thing I thought of is look at the uh, the, the render image of the Ultimate Edition. Why is it, is, is, are those kick pad lower legs with, with freaking sneaker shoes? on the bottom for her feet. That would look really dumb. It's going to make her look like she has massive calves down into her ankles and then just regular feet. I hope that's not the case. Maybe it's just the render. Maybe they are going to give her like a Carmella looking lower leg. At least I hope they are. If they end up not going with a Carmella lower leg, I think her lower legs are a little bit too tall for Alexa Bliss. We'll have to see about that. But I hope that it's not this gigantic kick pad mold. That'll be really annoying and ugly probably. So hopefully they fix that or we'll figure out a way to fix it but the last little switch I had an idea for you guys know she comes with white gloves I think it'd be sick to put the elite 82 hands in there with the black gloves that way you give it like a full black look instead of the white gloves to you know break up the black you can give it the all black look with the demon head with the black gloves from the elite 82 so that was my last little swap there for Alexa Bliss ultimate edition I think that'd be a nice little swap right there moving on to our next ultimate edition man we have the triple h figure now anything if you guys know this era you know that triple h was not very jacked like, he was big. Don't get me wrong. He was jacked. He was still strong as hell. He was still a, a mountain of a man. But at the same time, he wasn't nearly as cut as his other runs, right? He wasn't nearly as cut. So I think if we torso swap this, what if you torso swap this with the Ultimate Edition Jeff Hardy? I know he has tattoos on his back. You may be able to fix that and get all the tattoos off. But... I feel like the, the Jeff Hardy Ultimate Edition or even the Ultimate Edition Macho Man, which you're probably not going to torso switch that. You know, that's the early bird figure. I highly doubt that you're probably going to touch that. I do have some ideas for fix-ups for that, which we'll get into. But uh, that's probably a better skin tone for the Triple H. But uh, the Jeff Hardy may be the same skin tone. I can't tell, really, by these images. They may or may not be the same skin tone. However, I think that that pudgy-looking torso is, uh, is more accurate for Triple H. I don't like this super ripped-up torso. I don't think it's very accurate for Triple H at this time. You may even want to leg swap it because his legs are super duper cut and you may even want to arm swap it or put some like fatter arms in there. Because around this time, man, Triple H was just not... You know, I think what it was was him and Stephanie McMahon were trying to have children at that time. And so uh, he had to cut back on some things to make sure that they'd be able to have children. I don't know, that's just something I heard. I could be completely wrong. However, 
If you didn't want to do that, man, I think a head swap with the Walgreens figure or taking some of your, you know, handlebar mustache head sculpts and putting them on your DX Walgreens exclusive Triple H would be a really sweet fix-up. I also think if you took this yelling head sculpt or, or this head sculpt from the Battle Pack from Brock Lesnar, I think it was, take that head sculpt and put it on the Ultimate Edition and just acetone the beard off on the chin. I know you don't get that sculpt in there, but I think just taking that off would make this figure look a hell of a lot better too. So I think that would look really great, man. I think that would be beautiful. That's one of my favorite Triple H head sculpts. Those two head sculpts, the yelling one and the just pissed off one right here, are, are my favorite Triple H head sculpts, especially long hair. So I think that would be a really sweet fix-up as well. But that's all I could come up with the Triple H. You know, you could always just take some of these Triple H head sculpts and put them on other elites and other figures, but uh, these are the ones that came to my brain. And moving on to Ultimate Edition Macho Man, this is what I said. You could torso swap it with one of his elites to give him the more jacked torso because I didn't even realize this in yesterday's video or I would have commented on it. It looks looks like they're going to give him the Jeff Hardy torso, which is very, very odd. I didn't even notice that. If this is indeed the Jeff Hardy torso, don't like that at all, because Macho Man had a lot more musculature than Jeff Hardy, you know? And I just, I didn't like this torso for Jeff Hardy. I sure as hell ain't going to like it for Macho Man. But since it is that early bird special, unless you got like four of these, you, you're probably just going to live with what you got, you know? A lot of people are going to keep it mock. I got two of these, so I'm going to keep one mock, and then I'm going to open one for review for you guys, and I probably will not torso swap it. I guess we'll have to see about that, play around with it, but you could also possibly throw some NWO accessories on this guy and make an NWO Macho Man possibly. Maybe play around some other things, make a WCW version. I'm not entirely sure, but you could, you know, you could just play around with that, swip some stuff around, and you may be able to come up with like an NWO Macho Man similar to what we got with the Ringside Exclusive. That'll be, you know, just kind of playing with accessories that we've gotten from other figures and things like that to make that come to fruition, but that is something I also thought about. Moving on along, man, we're diving into the Rey Mysterio Elite. This one's pretty easy, but I think it's going to look really, really clean. Just take the, the gloves and the boots off of the Elite 72 Rey Mysterio, and that would be clean. Or maybe it's the Elite 69 Rey Mysterio boots and the Elite 72 Rey hands. I think that's what it is. The white gloves and the white boots with the black outsoles. Putting that into this pink and black gear would really break up the pink and black and create a new contrast with the white. I'm not talking about the gauntlets as well. I think the black wrist gauntlets with the white gloves would look clean. But then those white boots tying in with the pinks and the blacks and everything coming together there. That would be beautiful. Really excited to do that one. That's the one that I'm absolutely doing on surgery. That one's going to be really, really clean. I'm doing that regardless if I have an extra Ray Elite or not. I think this figure is going to be very, very nice. And so that is a swap that I definitely wanted to let you guys know about. And I think that is one that I will most definitely be doing. Moving on along, guys, we have the Rock Top Picks figure. And for this one, I would just say head swap it with some of his Ultimate Edition head sculpts. The yelling one that we talked about or the people's eyebrow one that we talked about. And then uh, I would just say put the jersey on there that he comes with and then put some damn Brock sweatpants on there and create a promo looking rock with the jersey on. I think that would be really sweet. I do want one to showcase the blue trunks, but I also would like to have one in full promo gear with the jersey and the pants and everything going on with the rock right there so i think that would be really really sweet to have you know another promo rock he was always in different gears and stuff like that uh similar to you know a brock lesnar or john cena just always the different promo looks from back in the day and just constantly having the pants and the jerseys and the different t-shirts and stuff jackets all kinds of stuff so the rock was another one that i wanted to plug in the video we also have Hulk Hogan. Hulk Hogan, uh, I think that if you torso swap this with the Survivor Series or the Ultimate Edition Hulk Hogan, you may get like a super tan look, you know, because he was super tan around this time. I don't know why they didn't give him the deep tan because he, like maybe not like so much the cartoony tan, but like a different kind of tan. He was super duper dark around this time in some images that I saw. I couldn't remember off the top of my head how dark he was, man, but he was, he was pretty dark. So I would say torso swap it with the Survivor Series. I don't know how well that torso would go on this crotch piece but you could put the ultimate edition Hulk Hogan not the Hollywood Hulk Hogan because that's what the skin tone is but if you put the newer Hulk Hogan ultimate edition heads or torso on there you may be able to get that super tan look if you were to do so with the brand new ultimate edition Hulk Hogan but that'll be something to look at uh but I I, I don't know does the tan throw you guys off it's throwing me off super bad so 
I don't know. I don't think they're going to fix the tan, so that's pretty upsetting. Moving on, guys, we do have Sami Zayn, and I don't have any fix-up ideas, but somebody told me that you could just boot swap this and fix the lower leg problem, and that's not the case, because then he's going to be super short. So you can't just switch this with his normal Sami Zayn boots, because you guys know that these bo this boot mold is actually not going to uh, be accurate. It's going to be taller than his actual boots are, or compared to his other elites that he's gotten in the past, because they went with the Colonel Mustafa slash Sergeant Slaughter leg mold with the bunched up you know cargo pants look so they are going to be too short if you swap the boots I'll look at it, but I'm pretty sure, you know, it's not going to work out there. The only way you could do it is if you lower leg swap with some other figure that had the bunched up look and then put the Elite 63 or one of the other Elite Sami Zayn boots in there. It is something we'll look at, but I'm pretty sure it can't be switched with just a simple boot sw boop swap. I don't know what I'm saying. Boot swap. Austin Theory can't really think of anything except he looks like a creator wrestler, so it may be a great generic body for a bunch of different guys. Maybe you're just trying to make a jobber on your show or maybe like some prototype John Cena's from OBW would be really dope as well. Just something I thought about off the top of my head. I think the Austin Theory figure looks amazing. Not an Austin Theory guy. Gotta say it every time. However, I think that this figure looks pretty damn good except for the bobblehead. And, uh, you know, you could fix it. You could maybe switch it out with the basic. Maybe that head sculpt would be smaller. We'll have to see about that. But Austin Theory looks like a call wrestler to me. Kevin Owens. No fix-ups. Couldn't think of any. I, I really think this figure looks beautiful. You got the double-jointed arms. I would say put black hand tape on it, but I don't think there's a way to unless you paint the wrists of your figure black because you don't want to lose that double-jointed arm look. So you could paint the wrist black and then uh, put regular Kevin Owens' hands in there, and that would give you... You know, the black hand tape without having to paint the hands. Just put older Kevin Owens Elite hands into your figure, and that will give you the full black hand tape. But I couldn't think of anything. This figure looks absolutely beautiful. And the last figure that we have, guys, is going to be the RVD Elite, which is going to be just a simple knee pad swap. You know, give them some smaller knee pads where it's the uh, whether it's the open ones, whether it's the closed ones, doesn't really matter. Would be a beautiful fix up there. And then you could also do a shoulder and arm swap with his past Elite to give that figure the double jointed arms and stuff. And you could also head swap that one. Now, I wouldn't say put the old RVD Elite 27 head sculpt on the Elite 91. I would just say put the newer head sculpt onto that older Elite. Maybe get the, the one I use on the pick fed, like the smiling head sculpt, which is pretty much a non-true effects version of what we're getting. Uh, you could do that as well, but I think that... Uh, the newer head sculpt on the older lead and, you know, fixing it up like that is going to make that figure super badass. But I can't wait for that figure, man. It's going to be absolutely beautiful. But that pretty much wraps up my brand new 2022 action figure fix-ups because we're not, we're probably not going to get any of these figures until 2022. We may get some more, you know, they try to pump out some new figures around Christmas time. We'll have to see. But uh, I, I love all these, man. They, they look fantastic. Yesterday's reveals were pretty damn good to me, man. But I would love to know what you guys think of these fix-ups down in the comment section below. Which figures are must-grabs? What fix-ups are you wanting to do with your collection maybe you thought of some other ones that i didn't think of so let me know all those things down in the comment section below but i'm getting out of here man thank you for watching subscribe to the channel follow me on instagram twitter and tiktok at my damn toys and i will see you guys in the next video thank you and do not cross the line like me when i immediately think of buying two or three of all of these different figures help me you cross the line i've been beaten, boom.